This is our synthetic spider silk. Young scientists in their 20s found a way to realize a technology thought to be impossible. A revolutionary discovery made in regards to the serious global disease of depression. There is also a new technology being developed that detects cancer from very small saliva samples. All of these successes are based out of the Institute for Advanced Biosciences in Japan's Suruoka City. Using the world's most advanced methods of metabolome analysis, the Institute works night and day to zero in on the mysteries of life. In addition, the Institute conducts research on local produce along with high school students, as well as a 25-year health study on 10,000 citizens in efforts to create new preventative medicine. This is a fantastic environment for making great science. Changing the future of the world, the very exciting challenge of Keio University's Institute for Advanced Biosciences. A platform for metabolome analysis, which life scientists all over the world are taking notice of. Metabolome analysis technology will play a vital role in future altering research. When it comes to the mechanisms of human life, even now that genetic information can be decoded, mysteries still remain. Substances related to an organism's metabolism are called metabolome. Humans possess several thousand types of functions still largely unknown. IAB got its start with the challenge of tackling these mysteries under the commission of Director General Professor Tomita. In 2001, Professor Soga developed a groundbreaking instrument that measures metabolomes. The interesting point is that we can measure a thousand metabolites inside the cell within 30 minutes. The measured data is referenced against the world's largest database and immediately identifies metabolites. IAB's metabolome analysis technology will continue to lead the world in life science research. A technique to detect cancer from only small saliva samples is evolving. In 2010, a group led by project associate professor Masahiro Sugimoto, in collaboration with Professor David Wong at UCLA, developed a new technology that detects cancer from saliva. At first, it mainly targeted three types of cancer, oral, breast, and pancreatic. But when research continued to test for other cancers, surprising reports were found. Our saliva test found gastric cancer, even though in some cases, two more marker tests showed negative result. This is one example case. A gastro camera showed a clean bill of health, but the saliva test identified cancer. It was hiding in the gastric lining. There have also been cases where blood tests showed normalcy, but the saliva test has found cancer. The highly precise saliva test Further development may make it possible to prevent cancer. A health study, the first of its kind in the world, is happening in Japan's Tsuruoka City. The Tsuruoka Metabolomic Cohort Study is tracking the health condition of 10,000 citizens over 25 years. By performing metabolomic analysis in the Institute, the revolutionary study exhaustively tracks and records small changes in each individual's body. The aim of our study is to develop a new strategy for the prevention of important diseases. By taking into account individual differences such as genes, environments and lifestyles, our new approach will provide a much precise important understanding of a person's health condition. The Institute makes public information stations regarding cancer and various diseases actively engaging people. Leading the world, the Institute and citizens are engaged together as one in efforts to create innovative prevention methods. The Institute helps Tsuruoka made products become the best in Japan. Yamagata Prefecture's proud rice, Tsuyahime, is very popular. <laughs> Using the world's most advanced metabolome analysis, the Institute proved this rice has the most umami flavor of any rice in Japan. Not only rice, but to make other useful agricultural products. Now, 
now it has begun efforts with melon. Mmm, smells good. We started the research of fragrance. Added to the Institute's measuring equipment is a new fragrance analyzing device. It's an amazing piece of technology that is capable of simultaneously measuring hundreds of components of smell. Fragrance also characterizes overall taste. We believe our integrated analysis will solve the puzzle of complicated feature of food stuff. 50 different Tsuruoka foods have already undergone analysis as the Institute makes regional partnerships and aims to create the next big hit product. Biomarkers are measurable indicators that signal a possibility of being affected by certain diseases or health conditions. Attracting attention from around the globe for their discoveries in such biomarkers, Human Metabolome Technologies Incorporated, or HMT, is the first venture company launched by IAB KU University. HMT has been searching for biomarkers by using metabolome analysis technology. HMT is currently in the spotlight for the development of their biomarker for identifying depression disorder patients. By comparing the blood metabolomic profiles of depression patients and healthy subjects, HMT successfully discovered a promising biomarker for identifying the disease, which is called phosphothanolamine, or PEA. The increasing number of depression patients is a major problem around the world. The advancement of this research will aid in making it possible for early detection and proper treatment of the disease, and thereby energizing the world. This is our synthetic spider silk. Not only is it beautiful, but it's lightweight and it stretches. A new futuristic material was born at Keio University's Institute for Advanced Biosciences. In the past, spider silk production was not commercially viable. That's because spiders make seven to eight types of silk. And they will not only make the strongest type of silk. A group of researchers in their 20s from the Institute succeeded at this with a completely original idea. We're using microbes to produce spider silk, but I can't tell you any more details. The raw material used is protein powder. Compared to petroleum-derived chemical fibers, it is stronger by far. That's why it's expected to be useful in a wide variety of fields. An experimental plant has begun operations with the goal of mass production, it may not be far off before it becomes a major industry. The Institute is involved in an initiative to turn out globally active scientists from Tsuruoka. This is the laboratory of a state-of-the-art project. To produce world-class scientists, it's necessary to begin education from high school, and officially chosen high school students can work as high school student assistants. There are also high school student interns, high school students who decide on their research themes by themselves. High school student interns present their findings at the annual summer high school bio summit in Tsuruoka. In the future, they aim to present at international conferences. Inspiration and ideas of young researchers are expected to carry biosciences into the future. <laughs>